Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Anita Hadiu. I'm the development uh, director for the Macrest organization. The Macrest organization is a nonprofit organization that helps the homeless individuals and families in Macomb County with food and shelter. We have been doing this for over 28 years and we have only been able to do this with the help of the churches around in Macomb County. Uh, at the moment we are working together in partnership with uh, 75 churches in our county and thanks to them for being the pillars of our organization we are where we are here helping 60 men women and children all homeless for um, 90 days while they're in our program and looking for work and uh, housing but we can talk more about that later right now we are at uh, warren woods christian school this is where our uh, women and children are staying for this week um, this school is part of the uh, Warren Woods Church and they have been helping with Crest for 10 years every year for one week, seven days. Uh, we have coordinate, they have coordinators that come together and provide everything and anything that's necessary for the clients, starting from the little things to the larger things such as shelter and food and safety. So we're going to go through the door real quick just for a moment uh, just to go through to see where they eat and where they sleep and then uh, later we'll have the head coordinator uh, Kim Twarovski who is also the wife of our board member Richard Twarovski and she's the head coordinator she's been helping she helps with everything she helps with us with other stuff so it's amazing we're gonna go through there real quick to see that and then Kim later will explain in more details how the clients come in uh, what we do with them how we help them and and some other stuff all right so let's go through the doors so when a guest enters McCrest, they start here. And here is and right inside the main right entrance where the guests wait as they are going to go through the check-in process with their case manager. So they start with their case manager. They explain what they've been doing all day. Um, they take a breathalyzer, make sure that they're okay to enter the program, and then they follow down our path of check-in. So the first step is a name tag. That's something that's really important to us, um, is that we can call guests by name and we can address them by their first name. So we pre-make their name tags and they get to start by choosing their name. So the next step is to tell our volunteers when they need to get up in the morning. We have guests that need to get woken up very early to get to jobs and we have guests that like to sleep in till the last minute and that's fine, they're welcome to do that. So they tell our volunteer when they'd like to wake up and they let the volunteer know when they need a ride in the morning, if they need a ride. And if they are a bus driver, a bus rider, um, we give them bus tickets so that they're able to get where they need to go. If they are a driver, then twice a week we provide them with gas cards so that they can purchase gas. Next step is letting us know what they would like for lunch the next day. Every evening we have a group of volunteers that pre-makes lunches. So they let us know what kind of sandwich they would like and then we add in fruit and snacks and a bottled water or juice for the kids. So almost the final step in the process is any bags that the guests come in with do get checked. There are certain things that guests are not allowed to have in the program and we just make sure that they're not bringing those in. We go through their bags as quickly and as easily as possible so that they don't feel uncomfortable, but we always want to make sure that each guest is safe as well as all the volunteers. Our last step in the process is they sign up for showers. We have showers on site. We're very fortunate to have that. Some buildings um, use local schools that they transport the guests to. Other buildings um, have port the use of a portable shower from McGrath. But we are fortunate enough that our guests can take showers here and we have them sign up every 15 minutes after dinner just to make that process go a lot more smoothly. We also provide the guests with any personal care items that they might need, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, deodorant, those kinds of personal things that are very easy for them to purchase. Okay, so as you've heard from Kim, um, this is where the guests sleep. We're uh, wrapping up our video real quick. Um, thanks so much for watching. We would like to beg you to please, please, all the churches out there, please call us 5, uh, 586 415 Adopt a week for the McCrest clients. We need you. All the sponsors out there, we have a building. We need your help for the women and children. Thank you to the Woods Church for helping us for so long. Thank you to all the coordinators and volunteers. We'll see you next time. Thank you for everything that you do. Bye.